Hello Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you Cancer at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Cancer, please. Okay. Ooh, nice. Overall energy is the Sun. <clears throat> you have the Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Death in your energy. So there's an ending here. You may have a Scorpio involved in this reading. Let's just go ahead and do this. Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the... Mm. Something is ending in change. Now, this could be a relationship you were in a while ago, the Ten of Cups, that is completely over. This could be a Scorpio specifically. This could be somebody else who has left a relationship. It's over. They have divorced. You have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see. In the past, you have Three of Wands, Eight of Coins, and the Six of Swords. So in the past, okay, you have Eight of Cups under the deck. So it's kind of confirming there could be a relationship, or actually not a relationship, I meant to say a job. Somewhere where you may have met someone, but you left that job, you walked away. Maybe this is someone also that you knew that was already married. You didn't want to get involved with this person at the time. They have the Knight of Coins, Temperance, Two of Wands, we do one more, Ace of Coin. Okay, what is this Ace of Coin? It's like someone moved on, disappeared. Um, they ghosted almost. Not necessarily ghosted. Could be a Virgo. Could be Sagittarius. Feels like you moved on for to a different job. And someone never forgot about you. I kind of see him as being sad. Like, I don't feel like you got ghosted. I feel like somebody misses you. Someone thinks about you. Someone was excited. Um, you moved on, though. I feel like someone waited. I feel like this is waiting. Because I say in this deck, Nine of Coin reminds me of someone who is watching and waiting. But he's looking at the past, right? Rabbit horse looking that way. He's looking that way, but he stopped. So he's, like, looking backwards. Kind of a nostalgic card. Six of Cups, but also kind of Page of Swords. But not quite as, you know, nosy. Page of Swords to me is, like, really nosy. He's looking. He's searching for answers. But like this person kind of stopped and waited. It's like they stopped and put their back to the rest of the world and almost waited for you, waited to hear from you. I don't know, I'm getting that from this reading. Almost feels like maybe both of these are their energy. But the top one could be yours, or it could be vice versa. But it's like this person waited and lost hope and grew old waiting to hear from you, or vice versa. This could be you. Wow, a lot of coins. Yeah, someone's holding on to feelings. So this reason this probably is showing up because for someone viewing, this person's coming back into your life. They Maybe they were married at the time and you wanted nothing to do with them or maybe you were married and um, this timing wasn't right. But there's something here, because I'm getting, the star card is like being on the right path, hope, all of a sudden like synchronicity. Six of coin, it can be my uh, shopping card, you're out, you're buying something, you run into this person. You could be out with friends. It doesn't really matter. Six of coin. I just get like reminiscing. I get like old feelings come back up. I get someone is hiding old feelings. It's kind of like wanting to revive this. Because we have the page of wands. And I'd get, wow. But with the two of cups and the ace of cups showing up together, like this person, there's deep love here. It's a soulmate bond and it is deep love. But it's like somebody who would... I like somebody who would really be there for you. Like this person waited. That's kind of what I'm getting. They waited for you. Okay, let me um, let me just see what the energy around this relationship or person, I should say, is. Phoenix, new phase, rekindle. Yeah, I'm getting transformation, renew, growth, and changed mind. So there's something here in the cards of the Phoenix about something coming back to life. And remember, the overall energy is the sun. So this makes you happy. All right? This is something that you, like, <clears throat> are excited to see this person. You're excited to hear from this person. It could be an ex for some of you, honestly. I mean, it's kind of not that. But because of how the re reading is going and it's being renewed, if you are waiting for an ex, possibly that is what's coming in, that person. But it is, um, so we have Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius because I'm gonna go back to this I just have to say this because I feel feelings a lot of times and when I feel this it's like someone 
people were saying like, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. And this person said, no, I wanna wait. I wanna wait for cancer. And um, it's kinda like they put their back to the world. Um, I feel like like they kept looking out over the, the horizon. Like, I don't think they actually did this. This is just what they're showing me in my mind. And they kept looking to see, is she, is she coming or is he coming? Are they gonna, are they gonna show up? And it, you, never, you never did, you moved on. So this is a random chance meeting. Um, again, new phase means that again, it's this time you guys can be together if you want to be. This time this person is not married anymore. You're not married with the death card being up there. A lot has happened in between, obviously. Seven of Cups, I mean, obviously it could be divorce, could be moving, could be a lot of things. One more card for this, one more card for this reading of this person. Okay, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, someone was heartbroken over this. It could have been you, could have been them. Could be both of you, actually. Maybe you had to go. Maybe you know who this is, but you had to go. You had to leave for a new job, something like that. Maybe you worked with them. I think I already said that. I'm sorry. But somehow maybe that has something to do with how the two of you are coming back together. But someone was very sad. Healing from heartbreak. So that also tells me that somebody is in a much better place. Healing has taken place. Um, there's no hard feelings. If there were ever any. I don't think there were. Let me see what the, the romance deck is saying. Okay. These flipped around. So let's grab them. Trust and honeymoon. Yeah. This is going to be... For whoever this is resonating for, if this is your reading, if this is, um, um, if you know who this is, I feel like with the trust card, you're, you're excited to see this person just as much as they are. There was always something there, but it was just something that really couldn't happen at the time. Honeymoon, of course, enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together, but being together, I think there's a very deep love between the two of you. I feel like there could be other details also, like this person may have moved to a different country or you did, but I don't want to get into everything and kind of make it murky because I know the, I know the message, the details could vary for whoever is viewing. Let me do one more, please. Universe. Okay. We have flirt. Yeah. Lighthearted energy. So this is what I'm kind of picking up. I'm picking up. It's going to be soon, like within the next... Number four is very significant to me. So it could be four days for some of you. It could be four weeks. Within the next four weeks, I feel like it could be um, in person. Like I said, yeah, in fact, it's going to be in person. I don't see, unless you guys still work in the same company, I don't see how it could not be it, because of the cars I'm getting here. It's going to be very random and it's going to be very unexpected. Um, I think if you see you caught off guard, Cancer, I do. I see you, but you're happy. I see you a little bit flushed. Um, just go with it. Okay. This person also, I'm going to say one more thing before I close. One of these, one of you or them may have been in a stage where you were heartbroken and you were healing and you were not ready for anyone, not just this person. Okay. But you have now risen. You have come, you know, out of that, um, those ashes come up. So things are very different for you and not just them. So I feel like the two of you are in a good place to restart this romance, these hidden feelings. Also, number four could also be four years or four months or within that time frame. Could be when the two of you were together. Again, some of me have chosen a job over love too because this is kind of like taking two paths. I also get someone may turn back, may have something to do with family, but I don't want to get into all the extra details. I think you understand, you know who this is. There could be different details about why it went away, but it's coming back around for another chance, okay? Let me see if there's anything else. Honeymoon, sometimes that has other meanings because it does have water and boats on it, but. All right, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a fantastic week, Cancer, and I'll talk to you soon.